Hey, you're in my, uh, you're in my channel. Luna Dona, Ludona underscore says we not live. Well, we're live now. Welcome. Rat with a shotgun is here. Rocket soup. Da Dan D D87. Angry Welsh Gamer. What's up, everybody? Hey, I'm doing a crazy midday stream, which feels like naughty, like we're on vacation. Rocket Soup says I look glamorous. Well, you know, I had to do, I was going to do a Facebook live stream, but then I decided to do this instead, and then I'll do a Facebook live stream in a couple minutes. Uh, you know, I put some work into it. Duck lips. Um, the reason why I'm doing a stream is that today I'm announcing my new book. It's called Embrace Your Weird, Face Your Fears, and Unleash Creativity. It is, a, I, I would describe it as a self-help book. And it's designed to help people overcome their anxiety, procrastination, jealousy, all that stuff that keeps you from being truly who you are. And I'm really excited about it. It has uh, lots of funny essays. It has room inside the book for you guys to do exercises. And it also has about 90 illustrations. Uh, the illustrator is so good. It makes uh, all of them. Are, there's a roided out unicorn in here, guys, that you're going to want to copy. <laughs> So pre-order at FeliciaDayBook.com. Your pre-orders really help me um, determine whether I get foreign editions or book tour dates. So please go to FeliciaDayBook.com. All the icons at the top will lead you to all sorts of places you can pre-order. Thank you. Um, that was for Anna, Anna, um, one of my mods. She told me to do a little promo that we can clip and put on here because you guys are smarter at, at, uh, at marketing than I am. <laughs> Chariel X says we pre-ordered it. Ben Smith did you order it, JPC guy? Yes, I will be doing a book tour. So basically how pre-orders work, you guys, and I didn't know this, and now I try to pre-order for every single one of my authors, is that they could tell where the people who pre-order are. Also, the numbers determine whether you get sort of placement and um, whether they can make books, physical bookstores, like order more copies because they're like, hey, this many pre-orders were there. You need to order X number of books to be in the store. So that's kind of how it worked. Also, the number of pre-orders also determines whether foreign publishers would uh, want to sort of, you know, license the book. Um, my memoir, You're Never Weird on the Internet, almost. Hi, Serpent Stream! My memoir had a, uh, a French edition and a Czechoslovakian edition, which was a little bit odd. Um, pre-orders also can't count toward first week sales, too. Thank you so much. Who said that? Who said that? Who said it? It's ear blinky. Yeah. And IRL blinky. Yes, they count toward, so it basically counts toward the bestseller list too. So all those sort of add up to that one week and all of it just um, kind of, anyway, I spent a whole week of my life on it. Here's the book. It's beautiful, isn't it? This is not the real book. This is a dummy book. This isn't the real, because well, they don't have the actual book done. Um, this is this is the, the ARC copy. So you'll see it's advanced un uncorrected proofs. And this is like the one, where you do bunches of notes about like layouts and things like that. I don't want to show you the inside, guys. Um, I can't show you the inside. My publisher will get mad. Eve said, I loved your first book, so of course I pre ordered it. What kind of book is it? Fiction? Farce Master asks. Um, no, Farce Master, it is a nonfiction book about um, it's a it's 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 designed to help people get their voice out in the world, embrace what makes them different, and channel that into creativity. And so there's whole sections on um, a lot of the, the first section is about like finding your inner voice and who you truly are and what you want to say because some people, you know, you don't know how interesting you are until you start diving in there. Um, and then there's a whole section on enemies to your creativity and how I personally would advise people to cope with them like jealousy, anxiety, um, procrastination, you know, criticism, all those things I had to handle that. And then there's a bunch of like fun, playful things to do in the book. And there's all sorts of crazy exercises that I give you. So lots of nerd things. Who is your target audience for Embrace Your Weird? Well, Zenobis. Um, anybody who likes me as a person. So anybody who's a creator or a nerd or geek. There's lots of video game references. I had in mind that it would be um, it would be good for teenagers to read. Um, it's not aimed toward teens, but I, wanted, I didn't do anything in there that would make it inappropriate for teenagers because I, I have a lot of fans from Supernatural who are teenage girls especially and seeing how hard it is for them in that point of their life, um, finding who they are, like really defining themselves, especially with outside pressure to kind of conform. I really wanted to make a book that would resonate with um, with them. So Five Horror Bursts says, oh man, a new book. That's so exciting. Thank you. FeliciaDayBook.com. 
JPC guy pre-ordered it. Yeah. Woo woo. Um, did you get my free, free Slurpee? It's free Slurpee day? What the hell is that about? Anyway, uh, Mecha Chat sounds like it's right up my alley. I only try, recently tried to get myself out there and start streaming. I'm so bored, boring and unoriginal. Well, you're not. That's one of, the, one of the central tenets of my book is that everybody has something unique to say and they should be saying it to the world. Not only for the external praise of it, but for their own mental health. And so I really believe that. Even if you're only creating for one other person, if you affect that person's life, it's worth the act of creation, including your own life. So that's what I, it, it's earnest at times, but there are lots of fart jokes, y'all. And um, it's really funny. I tried to make it really, really funny because I love self-help books, but most of them are like earnest and like embrace the goddess within. And I was like, you know, some of it I'm just like skimming. So I wanted to make like a book that would help motivate people without all the sort of like, you know, eye rolly stuff. There's eye rolly stuff in it, but that's good eye rolly stuff. Daughter Lion says, book announcement. What? It's FeliciaDayBook.com. Is in Europe, it's free Slurpee Day too. Well, I want like a, a report on somebody slurping some Slurpee. You know what I'm saying? There is Kindle. Um, there are lots of graphics, but they're all black and white. So there's nothing. Um, so it will look good on a Kindle. The only thing is that there's a lot of um, exercises and kind of part of the book, I want people to like vandalize. I really want them to write in the book. So with the Kindle, you'll just have to have like a journal to do some of the exercises along with it. There's, there's tons of exercises. So it's really meant to be sort of interactive dialogue. I'm actually doing an audio book too, which will be interesting because I don't know how we'll do like, there's a lot of like graphical um, exercises. And so I'm not sure exactly how I'll translate that, but I guess we'll figure it out. Um, we have some comments. RCA Spodscast. I hope your entire week is good and the coming week it's going to be great. Yeah, that's good. And uh, everybody's talking about free Slurpee Day. I mean, listen, Berensky 11 is free Slurpee Day in Canada. What about Croatia? Is it free Slurpee Day there? Is it really about being a patriot? No, there's nothing about political in here. I mean, I'm sure that somebody can read something political into it. Um, I talk about internet haters, but not very much. I, I talked about that in my memoir enough. I have anxiety and I also like self-help books. I started CBT course. Oh, yeah. I actually, uh, Varla, I've been looking for a CBT person, but um, I've been researching CBT and actually um, I find it very helpful and some of the things I'm channeling in there. I am not. Oh, Shelly Conquest got two. Dead Name Dan pre-ordered by a Kindle. Oh, you're awesome. Um, we have to write in the book. How do we get over the anxiety about writing in books? That's the whole thing, the Grumble Duke. It's all about breaking rules. So if we open, not like in an illegal way, okay? Like I don't, I'm not encouraging like vagrancy, okay? But I am encouraging, you know, this, the process of this book is to like open yourself up and like really rediscover who you are. Because a lot of the stuff that we, a lot of the ways that we just act and adopt uh, personality in this world are imposed upon us by other people. And so, you know, a lot of the exercises in a fun way kind of encourage you to really get down to the roots of who you are so you can discover what kind of creator you are in, inside. Especially people who don't think they're creative because that's bullshit. Um, Victor Nato says, I love the first book. You have a very pleasant and funny writing style. Thank you, Victor. It's exactly the same in this book. Uh, okay, well, I, I mean, my hair's darker. Well, really? It's a little darker. I don't know what it is. I want to get more highlights. I feel like I should highlight it out a little bit more. Can we buy signed copies at some point? A lot of people are asking that. So, um... When I do a book tour, which will be announced after they look at the numbers for this, uh, especially um, you could call some of those book tour locations and pre-order with them. And like on my memoir tour, I would sign like another 40 on the side for people who had expressly wanted to buy and have a signed copy shipped to them. So that would be my best advice for you. Of course, I will have that book at conventions and stuff, but you know, the most affordable way to get a signed book would be to get one from one of the places I announce on the book tour. I'll probably announce the book tour in a month or so. So I don't know where I'm going. Uh, like I said, it depends on how many pre-orders I have and where people are congregated and what bookstores want me and stuff like that. I can't leave Calliope forever, but anyway. I loved your first book, says Three Smuth, and immediately pre-ordered two. Oh, that's awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, lots of really good comments. I discovered you when you played Munchkin with Will Wheaton. That was really fun, Fai Chen Lee. Um, did I kick his ass? I hope I did. Maninius! Yo! 
I wish I could do a Swedish book tour. Grossel, I think that would have to be probably, I would have to get like a foreign edition. So, like I said, the, oh, You're Never Wielding the Internet almost had a French edition and a Czechoslovakian edition. Um, Phil Plate, Bad Astronomy. I don't know if you are Phil Plate. I love Phil. I will be at San Diego Comic-Con next week. My schedule is TBD, but I have one panel on Thursday and a panel on Friday. And I'm not sure if I should say... I'm on the Great Debate panel on Sci-Fi on Thursday. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to be on that, and I'm also going to be on um, the, uh, the... I'm going to be moderating the Harry Potter new Niantic game because I'm kind of addicted to it. And so they asked me to do it. I was like, oh, yes. So I'm doing that. And then I'll have a signing, as you see, at FeliciaDayBook.com. If you look, there's a signing at San Diego Comic-Con from 4 to 5 on Friday. And I believe I will be signing um, this version of the book. So you guys will actually get an arc of the book. I don't think there's very many of them. And I don't know how to get tickets. Don't ask me. So I will let you know as soon as I know. But that's my I'm, – I'm in and out this year. I, I have to go home because I have a convention in Raleigh. The next weekend, so I want to spend the weekend with Calliope because she makes me really guilty when I leave. Um, you heard it here first. Stop it, Rocket Soup. Don't get me in, in trouble. Yeah, the Harry Potter game is going to be great. Uh, I have a panel at 545. Oh, okay, great. Well, I don't know if you're really Phil Plate, but if you are, thank you for linking me on Twitter. That was great. Am I going to play WoW Classic when it comes out? Zakeda, I really want to. I don't know whether I go back to my old character or I roll a new one. I'm not sure. Are I pl am I planning on narrating an audio book for this one? Yes, Space Dragon. I'm recording it in three weeks, which I don't know how I'm going to record. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. There's lots of illustrations. And, and when you get the audio book, I think you get a PDF with all the illustrations. I don't know if they'll include a PDF of the exercises or not. So I have to figure that out. No, you can't add me on the, little, uh, the Harry Potter game. Do you know why? Because I don't have that many. I, don't, I can't handle that many friends. Although it would be cool if I was at Comic-Con and I knew you guys and we could do battles together. Let me think about it. I'm going to think about sharing my code. I know that uh, Matt Mercer did. And I was like, whoa, that was brave. Why no hardback? Um, Dark Mare, because it's sort of um, a self-help book, um, usually those only have one printing. So hopefully this will, you know, it kind of just goes straight to hard paperback. But it's a nice size. Like, it's a nice size paperback. Like, it's got, like, oh, this is not really my book. Actually, here's my book right here from my um, from my publisher. This is so this is the second proof. So I have to go through here and do more proofreading and seeing how the layout works and giving more notes on the layout. So this is like I have to go through this this weekend, all these pages and do notes. This is why I don't get to stream as much as I would. Sweet Demise says I still watch the guild anytime I need to cheer myself up. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Are you going to do a detailed description of the illustrations? I'm not going to show them to you. I want it to be a surprise. They're really funny. All right, I'll show. Let me see. I guess I, I won't get in trouble showing you this one. All right, let me see if I can just get. Let me see if I can just get one that makes me laugh here. I'll show because it'll give you an impression of how the book is. Where is it? Just a second. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, I can't. There, there's a roided out unicorn. So that, they're really funny. Um, Face Out did the illustrations, the people who did the, um, who did the cover, which I love the cover so much. So they decided to do and they're amazing. Um, I'm excited. How are the pages get out of order? I know. Oh, Iceman just pre-ordered my audiobook of Embrace Your Weird. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bloody Albatross is lol. He's beautiful, right? It's really funny. Leaked, I know. I mean, all I came up with some crazy stuff, and the fact that they were able to express, like, I would be like, hey, can you make this, like, one of my notes was like, can you make this hand sadder? That is literally one of the notes, and they actually nailed it. I was like, hey, I really like this illustration, but the hand seems too happy, like the hand. Sakor, subscribe with Twitch Prime, thank you. Um, I know, it's a really good emote. Sprinkles of the Dragon Cat said, I hope your book sales reach first, f farther into space and further. Aw, thank you. It wasn't masturbating, okay? It was not a masturbating kind of one. Ica Fox did a pre-order. Cookie Face TV's here. Welcome. Hey, you got a lot of uh, badges there. Your staff? I don't know what that means. Are you a staff or are you just staff? So very excited about the book. Just pre-order the audio book, but I'm all, all, my elves will have to get the physical book to see the drawings. Sweet July Artist, I feel like both will be fun because I, 
when I was reading, when I was writing the book, just like when I uh, wrote the other book, I made sure to read it out loud so it would be funny. And then I would add jokes if I felt like, oh, we've gone too long with earnestness. Um, hey, Salvman says you're one of my favorite actresses. Thank you. Go to FeliciaDayBook.com. And they'll be updating that website um, as long as you, uh, as, if you want to support indie books, uh, IndieBound is a great way to order online and pre-order. And that would count toward like, New York Times bestseller sales. Um, oh, no, somebody's not feeling well. I'm sorry. You're never weird on the internet was super inspiring to me, and I can't wait for this one. Thank you, Lindor. That's wonderful. Maybe he's literally a staff, like a wizard staff. Well, it, it'd be weird because wizard staffs don't have hands, unless it's like that Sorcerer's Apprentice thing where the broom grew hands, and that was creepy. I love your voice, so I'll get the audiobook. I, it is going to be fun. We have three days set aside in two weeks. I'll take some pictures from there. And, uh, oh, Blair Beverage is heading to LA tomorrow. Hey, I'll wave to you, Blair. Since we are vandalizing the book, maybe I'll color that unicorn. Yeah, maybe give it a, some, another horn. <laughs> Please tell us that's your writing tent behind you. No book, Mulligan. That's the baby's. She likes to put fake food in there. Um, uh, what was that? Uh, bought copies of your first book. I heard you added a chapter in the Kiln Devotion, the paperback. What was the chapter about Felicia Day? First Master, um, the, the extra chapter was, you could probably get it at the library. The extra chapter was about dealing with kind of after the book, like where do I go from here? It was a little sad, <laughs> but you know, I have depression issues. Um, your last book inspired me to get help at Felicia Day. F. Day fan, thank you so much for saying that. Um, the reason I bought this, uh, that You're Never Weird on the Internet is on sale on Amazon if you haven't bought it. For, thank you. Oh, my God. Steve at F2W. Thank you for that. So I did. How long do you work on the book? Uh, I worked. I, I did a proposal for the book last June. I started writing it in October. I got super depressed. If you listen to my podcast, Felicitations, you know I had a really hard, rough time in the fall. And then I picked it back up in December. And I wrote it. And I turned it in March 1st. I think that was my deadline. So I wrote it in like. I wrote it over the last year, but probably like it took me four to five months to write it. No, probably six. And then the last month I was rewriting it. And so it's like solid six to seven months of writing. I pre-ordered the movie adaptation. That's weird. Ah. Um, let's see. What else do you got? Now, should we play a game? I can stream for until 3.15. So I've got about 55 minutes to stream. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to play some Astrologaster? What's the name of the book? Salvman's uh, is um, embrace your weird, face your fears, and unleash creativity. It's uh, not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Okay. Did you ever get tired of hearing Sam Dean? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited for this, says Fairy Fire. I've been craving more Felicia Day goodness. I have a lot of new stuff coming out. I'm working on behind the scenes. It's a little depressing. Like, this is the first big thing I've been able to release in, like, a year. And I have to tell you, I miss it. I miss releasing videos. I miss, like just getting stuff out there all the time. And I feel like I'm, it really, you know, I think like once I got my boobs back from my baby, like things started taking off again. I'm not even kidding. Um, that's good. Hey, Dark Fox, welcome. Does this book teach us how to make the perfect template for a to-do list? No, let me go on. Okay, well, you could add that to the creativity thing. If that's your creative outlet to make to-do lists, that's totally fine. Um, my daughter at, is four and she asked, what's the name of your new, your new book? And when I told her, she says, what's weird? Just tell her everything good in the world is weird. <laughs> Indoctrinate her early. I can't read to read the book, the last agent says. Yay! Ooh, new William Gibson book. I love William Gibson. I really do love those. Uh, I love his writing. Um, okay. Just, just pre-ordered Unity Chronicler. Thank you so much. Will you self-publish a parenting book? Um, L.A. Saltz. I might. I might. I might write a parenting book. I would really love to follow this up with a fiction book. So um, I can't get to it until the end of the year, but I really, I have a couple of ideas and I'd really like to write some fiction. Although a parenting book would be awesome because I feel like every day I'm learning and I would love to make people not do what I've done, which is all the mistakes. Yeah. Will you do a Guild Reunion episode? I would love it. I would love to revisit that. This is awesome. I was running out of steam cleaning and this perked me right up. What does that mean? Oh, you were running out of steam cleaning. I thought you were steam cleaning things, Space Monkey. So that's good. Uh, bald Mr. Kevin says, I found you through Supernatural and you've inspired me to, with how you share your human side. Well, thank you, Bald. Mr. Kevin's? Should I say Mr. Kevin's? I don't know. Apraxididis says, I love you. Thank you. Um, let's go. What do you think? 
We should keep talking? No, I can't talk for this. Yeah, we should be short enough to finish it, right? Yeah, we should play a little bit of it. You could dance. You want me to dance for an hour? Listen, for pre-orders, I might dance. I'm just kidding. Can pre, uh, let's see. Uh, what's, when, when you work on a project, what's the longest you keep working straight? Like consecutive days, do you get burned out? Mr. Papa Verasese asks, well, that's a good question. I really get burned out. Well, no, because I love working on one project. I, I'm kind of, you have to understand, I was a violin player. And so in college, from the ages of like 15 to 20, I would practice like eight hours a day. So I loved going, shutting myself in my practice room and just playing the violin all day. And so I tend to be a person who likes to focus. And when I have too many things, like with Geek and Sundry, like if you read my book, like I had too many projects that I couldn't handle, I got a little crazy. And so, um, yeah, so I kind of like focusing on one thing and seeing it through. And so the book was kind of that for me earlier this year. So I can't work, I think, I think they say mentally that you're supposed to take a 15 minute break for every hour that you work. And also it's probably ineffective to write more than four or five hours a day. So that's kind of good. It makes you kind of break the day up. Anyway, congrats on the new release. Thank you. And Ari Finley Sharts. Um, Finley Sarge says it, I, I turned it in March 1st and a few of us have already pre-ordered the next week. I know you guys found the pre-order really early y'all. Hey, Dark UK says, I was wearing your Embrace Your Weird TV sh t t shirt today. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations on your graduation day. Was your suggestion IndieBound.org? Um, I don't know. Just go to FeliciaDayBook.com, and up on the top of the webpage, there's a bunch of circles, and each one of those circles leads you to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, IndieBound, Books A Million, uh, Apple, iTunes, Audible, all that stuff. Gaia says, congrats on the book. Thank you. Crafty Rebel says they're looking forward to it. Um... Felinara Fel, Fel, says, so much of your other book really hit home with me. I'm looking forward to sharing this book with my daughter. Yeah, I, re, I, really, um, I really feel like uh, I wanted to write this book for all ages and all genders, you know, all people. All people, but like, of course, the people I meet at conventions kind of resonate with me the most. The ones who said that reading my memoir helped them with anxiety or helped them start creating and especially like, teenagers who are kind of like feeling their way through their life right now. I really love that. Um, okay, let's do some video game because I can't talk for an hour. Uh, coming fall 2021, maybe, unless they decide not to make the thing I wrote. That is my Hollywood story. I have worked on so many projects the last three years, you guys, that you'll never see. And it's okay. That's the job. But that's why getting back to doing something where I can release it straight to you is really, really makes me happy. Ball Mr. Clevins, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Um, okay, let's just, uh, why don't you stream for a while? I miss you like a donut would miss its hole. Does a donut miss its hole or does making, having a hole mean you're a donut? Okay, let's stream. Let's do some Astrologaster. I'll try to answer b questions about the book and you guys remind me, hey, FeliciaDayBook.com, pre-order. It's really good. I think we are number one on Amazon Movers and Shakers, y'all. So that is due to you guys' pre-orders. So every one of those pre-orders really helps and makes me impressive to the people who um, allowed me to make this book. So I really appreciate them. I really do. Okay, let's add a source. There we go. Boom! Now, if you'll remember this book, um, I already packed my book for San Diego Comic-Con. Oh, okay. Well, if you see me, I'll sign it. If you if you find me, I'm not doing like a formal signing, except I'm doing a signing at the Simon & Schuster booth. So I'm sure that I'll, I'll sign your other book if you, if you find me at the Simon & Schuster book. Um, Critter Nation says, Felicia, instead of a game, you could also drop more spoiler pictures and confirm you're on Supernatural next season. I would love to go back to Supernatural. They have not asked me yet. Um, but it is my dream to be part of the final season. So I really hope they find a slot for me. I know they have a lot to do. But to see Charlie and see where she goes would be pretty, pretty special. Um, let's see. Let's do this. Okay. Now this book, this, this is a very interesting game. So it has like musicals and it's about like this creep. We're playing a creepy guy who like spies on women. It was just super creepy and it's really fun. Are the earthquakes reaching y'all? My brother lives in the town 11 miles from the epicenter. That must be very scary for him. Um, I was out of town in Miami and I heard that the baby slept through the earthquake. So everything's cool here. Would I get sued if I twitched reading your book? Yeah, go, Golden Ronin, I would appreciate it if you didn't read the whole book. If you have an excerpt of like, you know, a minute, 
and you want to like share something that was particularly special to you, I would appreciate that. Um, of course, go ahead and do that. I mean, I, I think that there's, you can't just read the book. That would be like, not cool. Okay, Lancelot Moore. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cheeky Chi, I have pre-ordered the paper copy from Amazon UK. That's awesome. All right, let's do. Now we play a really creepy guys. Look at this. It's an amazing game. I love you, it. Young sir, and well hello. You are Lancelot, hello, hello, hello. of Middlesex, are you not? Know. Oh, sure, what sure, an sure, honor sure. it is to welcome a oh, son oh, of oh, the oh. great house of Moore to my humble consulting oh, chambers. Oh, 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 oh. Tis indeed I, Lancelot Moore. Oh, uh, that's I me. I will own it. I am me. But hear this. Ooh, this my guy family is, is ignorant of my designs in coming here, and I wish them to remain so. Uh-oh. What is Which it? Is you got the VD? Foreman. For me thinks you are not such a man who would ever find himself in the company of a okay. family such okay. as Okay, um, ah. you know. Well, that's pretty you snobby. May count upon my discretion, Mr. Moore. And what is the matter that brings you this day? It is that my family wish me to marry my wretched cousin Barbara. Oh, Barbara! You know, Barbara you means like um, Nay, devil woman. I verily would not. Somebody told, named Barbara cousin told me Barbara that the other day. I don't know what it, it means. Maybe she, she was just telling me she's a devil. She loves nothing more than to sport with me and play cruel japes. Last Christmas. She even hit a dead mouse in my mince pie. Okay, that's creepy. The lady does seem most spirited. Spirited? She sounds the like a lady. loony pot. <laughs> oh, pish. Aw, Eba has pre-ordered my lady. the book. Woo -woo, she's thank you, Eba. Years of age. It is most unnatural to ask a grown man Blech. to wed Blech. a child. Indeed it is. Oh, Tis God, it's creepy. This, this is creepy. We're in Creepville. We consider. Verily, Barbara thank you, pale wise guy. My heart belongs to a true woman. Not a freckled, scrawny, slippery okay, girl. Okay, you're repugnant. This poor, woman. poor woman, child. I, this game is Mario, on Steam. It's called Astrologaster. I see. I mean, yeah, oh, it's he's Mario. not into marrying a kid. That's better. So beguiling are her shapely charms. Okay, are you talking about oh, her tatas? To lie, if not yeah. to die in Marion's arms. All right, calm it down, so dude. Soft her lips. So All right, now sweet it's getting her sexy. face. Oh, how I yearn for her embrace. Boy, is it 100% creepy. Daughter Lion pre-ordered the book and the audiobook. I love you. Thank you. I'm excited about reading the audiobook. Whoa, this guy's just going on. Did they black out because he got his wiener out? What's going on? I pray for death and would be martyred if from her I be thus parted. Okay, your sword and is a little so too... You see, you must help me forestall this right wretched now. marriage so that I might wed my sweet cousin Marion. Whoa, it's another cousin! Mr. Foreman. Oh, stranger Mr. danger! Foreman. Uh, 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 oh, uh, boy. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let us see what the Wiener blackout. Advise. Okay, How this... might Mr. Moore avoid this marriage to his cousin Barbara? Yeah. Oh, my God, Steve. Yes. Yo, everything is gross right now. Pre-order my book. Let's talk about stranger cousin marriage. <laughs> All right. Let's avoid this if we can, right? Ahem. How can I avoid marrying my cousin Barbara? Well, you know, inbreeding is bad. If Moore spreads a rumor about Barbara being sexually active... No! 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 She's 14! Jesus! With Ch Okay, no! Oh, repugnant! Let's make it... Let's make a really awkward situation. Paris Giovanni just pre-ordered the audiobook. Thank you. Gross! Oh, I'm so grossed out right now. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Appeal to Moore's vanity may induce him to travel abroad. Okay. Uh, Moore will be able to extract himself once he has come of age and has control over his fortune. <sighs> Moore should betray his family by serving his company. He should, oh, okay, yes, I want to send this guy to war, for sure. 14 wasn't really young back then. Veswa has a point. Okay, I, but of course you died at like 24. Like anybody over, I believe, 18 was considered an old maid. There was even, there's even another word for like an older old maid, like in your 20s. Yeah, but it's still creepy, y'all, okay? I'm sorry, we're, it's Creepsville. Still gross. Pre-ordered and to go next to my other twice copied sign. Oh, thank you, Dr. Hannah. Okay, Barbara is secretly unhappy about the marriage. Well, yeah, he's a dick. This is called Astrologaster, and you can pre-order my book at FeliciaDayBook.com. Shameless. Um, God's aid will come via Cousin Barbara. Okay. 
What what does Moore's intuition tell him about this marriage? Okay. <sighs> so what do we do here? We can either send Moore away or we can get Barbara to do something about this. All right? She's intelligent. I mean, she is intelligent and rebellious. She put a wor she put a dead mouse in his pie, okay? So everybody wants to send him to war. But I kind of like Barbara, like, making this happen, don't you? I want to give Barbara a chance to make this not happen. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm doing this. I know you guys want to send him to war, but I really want Barbara to make this happen. I want to give Bar vote Barb. Okay, Mododedo. Oh, we got a lot of... This is really conflicting. No, I'm doing this. <laughs> Let's do it. Apparent you do not wish to marry your cousin Barbara. It's pretty apparent. But have you considered whether she wishes to marry you? Nay, but I cannot think. I can't why think outside my own my own my own me. head. I am exceeding eligible. Oh boy! I, doubtless you are, Mister Moore. Uh, but hey, do a you vision. Not think her unkind japes may indicate she harbors some. I mean, she's well, literally tried to feed you dead mouse, dude. She you? does not hmm. want you. Mayhap you are right. Hey, Sheldon, thank you for pre-ordering. Did find a toad Hashtag justice for Barb. <laughs> Tis as if Barbara were possessed by a demon. No, Very she's possibly. not possessed. Uh, and thus possessed, she may be distracted. She's not, not distracted. Totally no, she's not possessed. She thinks you're a dick. Fine qualities. Thank you for pre-ordering the book, y'all. I, I really appreciate it. I really do. Time. When you spend months on something in your room and don't know if people will like it, it really means a lot. to thwart the marriage using a method of her oh, own devising. Barbara. Verily. Then I will leave it all to Barbara, as you Thank advise. Thank you, Sheldon. But it shall be on your head if I'm forced to marry her, Mr. Foreman. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, I'm a creeper. It's fine. Uh, was a little pleased. It was not what he really wanted to hear, so probably we should have sent him to die. All right. Well, okay. I'm going to be streaming until 3.15. Because I have a 3.30 phone call. Um, this is why you send dickheads to work. Okay, Oma Laura, you're totally right. You're totally right. Uh oh. Spanish Armada needs English cuts. prepares for invasion whilst Queen okay. for missing Navy. Just to catch you guys up, um, Sir Walter Raleigh wanted me to go and tell them where to send their boats in order to steal all the gold that the Spanish had stolen from South America. It's a long story. Anyway, nobody's seen the Armada in quite a while. And I gave them, like, specific places to go in the game in our earlier stream. So kind of, if we're invaded by the Spanish, it's my fault. How do you lose a navy? Well, you listen to a guy who basically thought he cured, cured the plate with, like, dirty water. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 keeping cats against you, she will snitch. Oh, Mistress Mary Page, she's a nosy la 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 Okay, great. Blessed even, Dr. Hello! What brings you in Prayer to the world? audiobook. Thank There's you, Purple no Smoke. To be about it. Thank you. Oh, it takes more than a little wind and rain to forestall me from doing the Lord's work. Hey, Besides, I'm a real oh, fun time at a party. God's righteous vengeance upon London for the sinful debauchery of its inhabitants. Yes, people really? eat shellfish on not on a Friday. Everyone day. should die. Pray heed me carefully, Dr. Foreman, for oh. it is on a most pressing matter that I am come. Oh. Doctors, you have heard the news? The Spanish what? Armada does sail once again towards England's shores. Mm. It seems this latest Armada was most unexpected. Oh, it's very, very, well, very awkward. Said, no one hey, yonder boy, we're Spanish just talking Armada. about my new book, FeliciaDayBook.com. You can go and pre-order. It really helps me. If you like me, go do it. Far away at sea. And welcome. And with our coasts Either way. undefended, a Catholic horde may soon be sailing up the <laughs> Oh, Catholics! Aye, our situation is hey, packet of crisps. indeed. But what would you have me tell you, Mr. G. Tyrone I got the audiobook, the paperback, the and the Kindle. I love you, G. Arrive home in Thank time you. To defend our shores. I, I know you're going to like it. Might we ordinary folk be compelled to take up arms to defend ourselves? Should I get out a thimble and a little needle and stab people in the eyeball? The Catholics, come what may. I think and he's ready to beat off Catholics. Ready to beat off the... Aw, Osborne, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us pray the need never arises. Uh, 
Perchance the stars will offer us some reassurance. Yeah, let's do it. Will the Royal Naval Fleet return home in Whoops, time to defend this is my England fault. from the Spanish Armada? Uh, hello, it's late. Yes, if you liked my audiobook, I'm doing another one. You can pre-order at Audible, FeliciaDayBook.com. Oh, the Spanish Armada is coming. Will the Royal Navy return in time to defend the coast? Whoops, this does not look good. Oh. The Royal Navy is absent due to a reckless and misguided pursuit of gold. It's true. That's true. It's ambitions will be thwarted by confusion. That's not good. Um, Angly Welsh Gamer, it's true. Pre-orders really, really help me um, get the book out. And also... Uh, pre-orders count toward first week sales, which counts toward the New York Times bestseller list. The number of pre-orders determines how many physical books that physical bookstores order. It also determines how many um, places I go on my book tour where I can meet you guys and sign my book. And it also determines whether foreign publishers like people in France, uh, Germany, wherever, want to translate the book into their own language. Uh, that would be cool. I would love to have a German translation of a book. I've never had it. Scheiße! Okay. Um, unpleasantness, okay, will result from a cunning plan to steal goods. Well, that's a bit of a downer. Uh, Sheldon Allen ordered books on Audible. That's awesome. I'm number 56 in books. That's amazing, Rocket Soup. Wow. Pooh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's incredible. I'm, I'm number one in anxieties and phobias. I mean, so that's, guys, that's kind of something I always wanted to do. I'm so good at anxiety and phobia. I knew I was number one, but now I've got it confirmed. <laughs> um, House of Duties. The authorities cannot be trusted to uphold their duty to defend or in ordinary Englanders. Oh, no. Okay. So this one basically tells Mistress Payne she needs to become a mafioso. A is that it's not going to go well for everybody. And then B is what? Oh, no. Another one. Take up arms. Oh, my gosh. Um... So this is not good. So all of these are, oh, okay, I just did B. That was B twice, sorry. Uh, ich, ich habe, uh, ich, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Ich, I studied in college. <laughs> On der Uni. The Spanish fleet will be delayed due to the idleness of their sailors. Okay, that's good. Catholic evil angel swills will have their plans thwarted by a deadly unpredictable event. Okay. All right, guys. So, wow. So, wow. So, do I make her start? Now, the, now just remember the goal of this, FeliciaDayBook.com. Please pre-order. The whole point of it is that I want her to give me enough letters of recommendation so I get accredited as a doctor. Okay, that is it. Um, Sue Troll just ordered the book. I will be pretending to read it for three months until it comes out. Good job. I am number 49 in books, number one in anxiety disorders in Canada, and number one in art therapy and relaxation. It is supposed to be colored in, so that's it. Um, I don't know. What, which one should I do, small fry? So, okay, should I make this woman uh, create a mob? Should I tell her it's not going to be good? So I, do I throw in a navy under the bus? Do I tell her that the Spanish are not going to come because they're lazy, which seems kind of, you know, racist a little bit? Not racist, but just, you know, kind of dickish. We'll be pre-ordering the book twice, once for me and once for my sister. Oh, thank you, Cat D. What do you guys think? I think I should make her get a gun, right? <laughs> Number one, best-selling coloring books for uh, grown-ups. I am in the coloring books for grown-ups category. That's great. E.W. Esterly says, I got good news. I saw my therapist a few days ago, and he said that I looked, and I'm acting better than when I started. That's amazing. Congratulations, E.W. Esterly. This is a car. A I, okay. I, should I? Okay, so basically I should tell her there's no hope, or I tell her Spanish people are lazy, so it's fine, or do I tell her pick up some arms? I, let's do it. Let's make a mob, okay? I'll listen to you guys. Uh, madam, it is unclear as to whether the... Oh, no, that was not... But I think she's going to be into it, though, right? Pale Wise Guy, pre-order completed. Sure that High five. Elites are true patriots who may be relied oh, on my to gosh. I can't believe I did this. Indeed, 
there be many an English Catholic nobleman who would welcome Oh, I'm like fomenting some, for if like, the king of Spain real, I'm like Fox defeat, News right now. We have England return to Catholic rule. Doubtless they would. Ugh. How was Supercon? It was good. Thought as much. It was it was not the busy as busy, but I actually got to hang out with people, the gu other guests, a lot more than I would have. So we had a great time. Sprinkles and a Dragon Cat pre-ordered the book scourge. and donated. Thank you, you Sprinkles. True, sir. I will go at Thank once you. to home and arouse the men of Four Street. Whoa! Mark me, Doctor Foreman. Okay. England shall that take back a control turn for of the our seas and defend our borders. We shall beat How long has Felicia Spaniards been writing the book? I started no more. last October. I started writing it. So it has been quite a while. And I'm still rewriting it. Um, here's the advanced. This is the one that's been sent to press and, you know, booksellers to read to see if they like it. This is the fake one they mocked up for my. Uh, this is how the real book will look, but it's fake. It's some other book inside, so I can use it in a video. And. This is my second edit pass. So this is the book. I've got to look through all these pages to give notes on any sort of typos or spacing problems over the weekend. Yay weekend for me. So there you go. She said she wanted to arouse all the men. Yeah, that she did. She loved it. She's very pleased. This is not going to be go good for us, but she loved it. Look, I got a lot of liquors. She loves it. We shall beat off those Spanish. She will arouse the men to beat off the Spaniards. I don't think that was a coincidence. Sir, I must congratulate you on the sterling counsel you gave me in relation to my horrid cousin Barbara, whom my parents did wish me to marry. As you did predict, a wretched little fiend did at length contrive a method for our ending our engagement. She has run off to the Earl of Shrewsbury, your relieved querent, Lancelot Moore Esquire. Oh, yeah! You guys, we did it! You're number one in my heart. Oh, Tario and Vesoir, I love you guys. Couples goals. Who robbed you? Homeless and caused a causing disease. Peace. I love this game. Good morrow, Mr. Mug. Yeah, I know. Go Barbara. Hashtag work, guys. Red spots do seem to have faded. Oh. Why? Those spots were not okay. the work of fleas. Guys, this this guy's a total hypochondriac. The dogs from the house. A lot of beating in this game. She'll be beating and banishing me next if she has her way. Well, I am glad to hear you are faring better. Oh, yeah. great. What brings you I this love day? this guy, you I could tell. I have a humoral imbalance and need treating for it. Oh. A humoral imbalance, you Oh, say. boy, this guy. Well, it is true that an imbalance of humors can affect a man's mood. This guy just instance, needs to give me right letters, letters of recommendation bile, and get the hell out. Dry humor can provoke feelings of melancholy, whereas yellow bile is, is hot and dry. It's I close enough to five to watch a stream. I'm only streaming for another half hour, so really, this is just a break. Supper with my friend, Mistress Ollingworth. She has a humoral imbalance and takes medicine for it. Mm, well, Hence, you know. I am come this day for medicine to treat Oh boy, this guy's a this guy's a I pill see. popper. He and just wants a prescription. It's just bad. You experiencing any unusual or troubling feelings? Mm -hmm. Why, very troubling. <sighs> Why, I find myself a fretting, pacing <sighs> all the day long. Even my wife has remarked. All right, upon guy. It. I know about anxiety. Read my new book. Um, I wanted to pause this because Osborne just said I was about to perform a wedding in Sims form. But this stream is way too distracting right now. I am privileged that you would not marry fake people in The Sims for me. Okay, I just want to say that. Anxiety and okay, add anxiety agitation. Uh, pray tell, did these feelings begin before hmm. or after you spoke with your friends? Very impressionable. Hmm. Let me see now. Uh, after me thinks, I after. Why does that matter? Because you're an yes, idiot. Quite possibly. He's going to die in the revolution. I hope so. I hope Mistress What's-Her-Face. What humoral imbalance does ail my Excited to get your book and got to get it pre-ordered. Thank you, Sockies. The wait will kill me. I know. I'm glad. Remember my other book got announced like eight months in advance? It was crazy. And so like it was forever until the book actually came out. This at least is one, two. It's about, it's less than three months, guys. So that's actually good. It's like 10 weeks or something. No, that's not three months. Uh, okay. Let's do it. All right. Which humor and bad? You got nothing, man. You're the worst. You got like a red nose, man. Um, you're mildly choleric. A humoral imbalance of choler can occasion symptoms of anger, impatience, and irritability. All right. Or you got the poops. Constipation, man. Ruler of the bowels. This indicates a psychological factor. Uh, phlegm. This one is 
Ruler of the chest. I think let's give him some constipation, right? He's got the poops. Or he doesn't have the poops. That's the problem. Let's do it. <gasps> have you a diagnosis yet? It's your butthole. Today I am to dine with Mistress Ollingworth. Oh, he I is holding his chest. Well, I it is done. Whoops. <laughs> uh, you have an imbalance See? of phlegm in your bowels. It's your poop shoot. Not only does this cause constipation, it does also provoke a condition of the mind called retention of the anus. It's his chest, isn't it? Uh, with retention of the anus, oh! the sufferer is prone to fixation and obsession. Uh, of is the there anus. Is chance a particular subject upon which you think you may fixate? Is it your butthole? Uh, pretty, sir. Take your time to think. Think about your butthole. May, you have the anti-poops. Nay, I cannot say as I do fixate or obsess over anything. It's your health, dude! Diagnosis must be right. Oh, this guy. It was worth a try. Oh, boy. Uh, well, doubtless you will have better luck with the scars Oh, no! Time. I got minus! Hey, Dr. Foreman. Oh, boy. You know what? I tell him what really it is, and then he doesn't like it. I gotta tell him what he wants to hear. Ugh. Oh, no! I lost... Okay, let's take this moment to talk to you about my book. It's called Embrace Your Weird, Face Your Fears, and Unleash Creativity. I uh, It just got announced. It comes out October 1st. If you would like to go to FeliciaDayBook.com and pre-order it, there are some circles at the top. You can click on any number of places to put your pre-order in. Those pre-orders really help me as an author. It allows me to go to more book signings, get more different uh, more books out there into the world, and I spent a year of my life almost on this book, so yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I do not think I would like to tell Mistress Ollingworth about an imbalance in my bowels. All right, whatever. You're a con artist. I do need to tell people what they want to hear. You're right. Um, we talk all about writer's block in the book, okay? Captain Calvin Cat, so get the book. I promise it's good. The Spanish naval pay has been defeated by a mighty storm. Ooh. I should have told her about the lazy Spaniards, huh? The sun. Of noble birth, a righteous father is worth. Whose advantage is as well. Teen girl stuff. I did have writer's block while writing a book about writer's block. It was about a three-week period where where I almost gave up, but I got through it, and then I talked about it in the book. It's hashtag relatable. FeliciaDayBook.com. All right. Oh, Sarah. I have dire need of your counsel. Pray calm yourself, sir, <laughs> and tell me of this urgent oh, affair. Oh no, what happened oh, to your very. other cousin? Do you don't, we ran out of cousins urgent. to boff? A fair maiden has my heart. A maid with hair of shining gold oh, and boy. eyes so blue the it's fine my mom. sapphires grow pale <laughs> with envy. But she is the most pious and demure in nature and has many other suitors. How might like I win her Like my dad. Favor? Golden hair? She had a three-week uh, period, in our last gross. Consultation. Uh, let <laughs> me see here in my notes. Ah, yes. Uh, you told me your heart belonged to a maid with hair of onyx black that doth make the finest ebony go gray with envy. You uh, mean my cousin Marion? Uh oh, he's over <sighs> yes. her. That was naught but a childish fancy. I get into all my I cousins. Did you, Foreman, pray focus on the matter at hand. For if you do not help me win my true love's favor. Oh boy. My bursting heart. Oh, will this tell guy! Someone. Wow! My soul uh. will wither unto. I, I, as do you, you talk will. about my kid in the book? I do talk a little bit about her. It's not stars. about about her. I have a couple of little stories about her. How may Lancelot Moore win the heart of this golden-haired? Oh boy! Maid? I am your. Am I your star pimp? I'm this guy's star pimp. Ugh! All right. Well, we got. A sudden religious conversion is strongly advised. Okay. Moore's hopes will be realized, but he must be self-disciplined and patient. Okay, so he needs to become a Catholic? That's probably bad advice in this world, because they just murdered Catholics a lot. Number one in guided journals. Yeah, Earth Giant. That's pretty cool. Those Amazon listings are literally all... It's kind of like... Um, it, today feels like releasing a video and seeing how many hits it gets. It's not fun, because then you feel like your self-worth is number of hits. But then I thought about this section I read, wrote in the book about that, and I felt okay. So, here we go. Read the stars. Okay, here we go. The maid's secret nature is hidden between a full of veil of false religious fever. Oh, she's she's a saucy minx. Ew, brutish nature. I don't think that's right. 
You may win the lady's hand in marriage. Okay, so he's... So she, he's... He's a brute. She's a false religious person. And you could get it on just with... Okay, so basically she's all about them money. Okay? So that's B. A is... You need to just have hope and convert. All right. Mm. I'm number two in creativity. Aw. You mean like poop number two, Ben Smith, or just on Amazon? Okay. Um, C is more should lie about the source of his fortune. Uh, deceitful business practice. Oh, okay. No, I don't like that. That doesn't feel right, does it? I don't like this one because this feels like it's not cool. I'd rather do B than this one. You should not, I don't want to get some woman into a, a, a marriage where he ha, he lied and said he had money and he didn't. Is your book through Pengdom Roundham? No, it is through Gallery Books, which is a subsidiary of Simon & Schuster. Okay, we're not doing C. I would love to send him off to war. That would be like amazing. Fel Felinara, your self-worth isn't based on followers' numbers. You're totally right. And the great thing is that maybe five years ago, I would have been depressed by... You know, just looking at these numbers and being like, oh my gosh, are they enough? And I, honest to God, I, uh, I, I, I felt it arise and then I was like, oh no, you're beyond this. And it went away. So it was actually good. Like I'm actually improving as a person. And that's kind of why I wanted to write the book. I'm like, oh, I've been through some stuff. I want to make sure other people don't make the mistakes I do, or at least can learn from my mistakes. Thank you, Plutonium Shore. Um, okay. So A or B? A is like, she's just... A woman, I, I feel like, let's do A, because it feels like the uh, the only kind of decent one. The other one is like, she's she's a hoe bag, you're an asshole, and then just like marry her with money. Gross. I'm doing A. I can't help it, I have to do the power thing. Lady is a you guys can play this and be an ass, a jerk. For the stars urge you to exercise patience and restraint. Although you're Driving me spare, I don't want to read about the book, out of the book the now, but I definitely will do that as the closer we get to release, okay? My meaning. Huh? Keep my sword sheathed? Um, oh, 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 your pee pee. You think I do verily use my sword to fight with? No, it's your oh, pee pee I'm talking gods, about. Gods, no. The sword I wear is purely ornamental. You mean your pee pee? If you paid more attention to the current okay. fashion, you would know that, Foreman. But that is not what I. Oh, never mind. What I mean to say is that you're. I'll be on holiday when the book comes out. Any spiritual. chance it'll be on sale in Cambodia? Have you considered converting to Puritanism. Only you can get the Kindle, and if you're on Wi-Fi, it'll be delivered teeth. or audiobook. The heavens advise me to become a Puritan. Welcome, Richard oh, H. In truth, this is ill to hear. Uh, for black is not a becoming color on oh my boy. person. Still. The stars do speak truth about my love. I mean, if you really want to get laid, you gotta prattle on get about religious. sin and hellfire. Good day to you, Foreman. I must go at once to my tailor to be fitted for the latest. Oh, he liked it, guys. He liked it. Some Puritan fashion. Oh, loathsome. He's gonna look so good in black, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, who is narrating the audiobook? I am, Hobbit. I'm gonna be recording the book. It's gonna take three days later this month. Um, Glassjaw says, "Hey, Felicia, loved your first book. Can't wait to read this one. Thank you." FeliciaDayBook.com. Um, does this character have five int? Less. He loved it. Was a little pleased. Ugh, not enough. Jeez Louise, it's taken a long time to get these guys. She's a drunk, she's a drunk, she's a drunk, drunk, drunk. She's a drunk. Cow Peeler, welcome. Good day, Mr. Splug. What brings you? Hey! Oh, Dr. Foreman, and... I have worked myself into such a state that I have urgent need of oh, you. Uh, oh, uh, awkward. Uh, you have, have you? Oh, uh, well then, let me just, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Take my pants off. Of your oh, no, it, my, oh, sorry. I am sorry. certain that my husband, Blarg, is hiding a shameful secret uh -oh. from me. Oh. As you doubtless did note from my flushedness of face and heaving of bosom. Oh, okay. I burn with the fever of suspicion and mm, curiosity. Is that it? Is that what you're burning Indeed, up? I Maybe it's a VD situation. I your person and uh, wish fervently that I may bring it to a speedy resolution. Rock and rolls. Let us see. Oh, what is this secret that your husband Thomas Vet bills Blag killed me this week. Oh, sorry, Hobbit Knot. I know. My cat is the most expensive thing in my house. Besides my baby. Alright, what's gonna happen? What's her problem? What secret is her husband hiding? What is it? 
You're going to inherit wealth one day. Okay. Well, that's good. Alice's husband serves his wife and family well. So he's, is he going to die and leave her a lot of money? Is that what that one is? You managed to make me cry with your first book. Would it happen again? I'll be honest with you. On one of the last pages, I literally started crying. And then in the book, I was like, I just cried writing that. I'm not kidding. Sometimes I get a little too earnest in this book, but it's like, it's because I don't want people to struggle like I did. It's, it, I promise it's funny all the way through, but I, um, there are some earnest things that I want people to love who they are, really. Like, we spend so long of, so much of our lives, like, wishing we could be somebody else or somewhere else, and we never really appreciate who we are, and like, that's one of the reasons I write this book. Hey, Morphinius. Okay, so basically she's going to get rich. Ooh, this is four. The secret relates to a sudden transform and mission and fortune. Surely this refers to the Spanish treasure. Would it be right to... Oh! Sudden change in fortune. Carelessly optimistic with the... Fi oh, yes! Her husband's the guy who invested badly. Oh! Intelligent. She's impressed with me. Okay, that's good. Uh-oh. So basically, we're going to tell her the truth here. That her husband drove... When you narrate your book, are you going to read it like you read to your daughter? No, that would be like this. And nobody could listen to more than a few minutes of this. Really? Yeah. All right, so there's no money left. And this is true because her husband came to me. All right. If we pick up the Audible book with our free trial, do you still get compensated? Um, I think it's fine. Yeah, you're ordering a book. You're using that credit. Yeah, I'll use it. A religious romance? Oh, so he's having an affair with a nun? I think we should just tell her. This one is lying to her, saying it's awesome because there's lots of money. Oh, no, I'm, I'm getting real with her. Also, there's four here. I feel like I should just tell her everything. I fear the secret your husband hides is a sudden transformation. Middle school is going to break me? Well, oh, I know. To school. Them. That's all I do is work Therefore, to save for her school. With your for real. Finances by making a series of bad business investments. <laughs> Looks oh, no. Boil brained jump has ruined Sorry. us. Sorry. Upon my virtue, I can hardly bear to think on it. Well, it's not nay, good. Nay, I cannot even. Whoops. You're flushed. Hey, is that medicinal wine I spy on the shelf behind you, good sir? Oh, she's the one who went out on Friday night. Your patient a dose of it. You are a dr oh, Simon lush. Makes a fine figure when he reads the stars wisely. Okay, she really Where wants a little a bit of me. And take okay. Wine and a little else with oh him. boy, okay, it's an affair. I think we can get into this. Uh, you know, lady, and just get over here. And then, oh yeah, she's flushed. She me thinks the claret. What? Methinks the Quarant was a little pleased for, with me for the reading I gave this day. Coitus post consultatio. I say that like 50% of the time, y'all. Coitus post consultatio. That's Latin. Yeah, baby! Oh. You know, she's got a fancy ruff, but a sad life. I am. I wear my embrace. Uh, embrace my weird at all at work all the time. My T-shirt makes me look really slim. Yeah. I love this game. Yes, thank you for anybody who has pre-ordered the book at FeliciaDayBook.com. Whatever format you order it in really means a lot. It helps me get more book tour dates. It also helps me get more editions in foreign countries. And it also helps my first week sales and gets it on um, bestseller lists and things like that. So I can continue writing books. Good day, Mr. Stella. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, is Lady Dyer now. Oh! I've been married after poor Mr. Delamere passed. She killed her other husband, guys. Oh, I am full sorry to hear of your husband. It's husband's her second demise, husband's lady. demise, y'all. It was the work of a witch, just yeah. as you predicted, Dr. Mm -hmm. Foreman. On the morning he died, I saw our cook, Mavis, mixing some manner of potion in a cauldron. While oh, no, he murdered the maid. This is not good. Plantation in a foreign tongue. Oh, no. I sent her packing back to Wales. Oh. But alas... Too Packing back to Wales, she killed Mr. him. Delamere. You know you did. 
Oh no. It's really sad for you. And you are sure your cook Mr. Al just added the audiobook to my pre-order. Yes. You're awesome. Hey, Tino Stark. Yes. She was very probably incanting a spell, as you say. Sure. What a ghastly business. You must have been most distressed. Yes, I was. So I hope you I really hate murdering my husband so I can be it. Mayhap is not at all. And yet... Uh -oh. And yet you would wish to know so that you may rest easier. Why, of course... Okay, lady. basically, uh, to hey, get points from her, I just need to tell her how this guy's gonna no die. No matter how trifling they may seem to you. Well, I have noted that my husband awakens many times in the night to make water. Oh, he's got a pee-pee problem. That is the reason why he tires so easily during the that day. That, and when I put a pillow over he his face at the night-night time. And hunger. Even oh, he's got kidney problems, y'all. Dog-like dog appetite. What does that mean? Thirst. Too much? Dog-like. Uh, Dogs eat anything. Else? There is also a small wound on his hand. Oh. It does not appear grave, yet it has not healed, even though it be some weeks since he cut himself. I mean, I, I pick at it while he's sleeping. Hmm. All right. Then he's got probably diabetic, y'all. And he's gonna die. Be there any grave illness this woman is the richest person in England. Delamere. He's a werewolf. You mean Lord Henry Dyer, Dr. Foreman. Is it only in paperback? <laughs> yes, filthy denimal. It is oh, only in paperback. It is paperback, Lord audiobook, Henry Kindle. Dyer. There's not gonna be another release. This is the only one. Hey, NYC Weather. Love you too. Okay. What ailment troubles Lord Henry Dyer? Well, diabetes. Didn't I tell you? Kidneys! It's all them kidneys! Bewitched? No, we did that last time. She got rid of her witch, quote-unquote. She sent her to Wales. That's where all witches live, right? Gangrene in the hand is characterized by an inflammation caused by corrupt blood. I think it's kidneys, y'all, right? Paperback is for commoners. Well, Marb... <laughs> They didn't do hardback because it's kind of like the whole point of the book is that you, I really want people to like write in it. So there are lots of exercises to write in it as I'm talking about something. And then I give you an exercise to kind of like enact that in your own life. And so I think the thought was that people would not want to do that in a um, hardback. Um, I'm definitely going to say kidneys, y'all. Definitely kidneys. Bring back the guild. I mean, I'd love to. I'm working on a lot of stuff, y'all. It might never get made, but I'm working. It, I am God mend me. God mend me. How am I to keep my husband from dying? You can't. Well, the consumption of lettuce, funeral party, and barley water can help, and you must not allow him to take honey or sweet. He's, she's going to literally give him all the sweets in the world. I'm a little concerned about the wound on his lordship's hand, though it be minor. Uh -oh. It is the diabetes that prevents it from healing. Oh. Then what should be done about it? Well, definitely. Dyer to a barber surgeon, where he may have leeches applied to his Ooh, wound. Ooh, okay. This will draw out the corrupt blood to hasten the healing. That's like but good really advice for the time, but... husband never cuts uh. himself again. For the corruption of blood, such cuts occasion in like a summer little of razor the blades cutting him during the well, night. They oftentimes prove fatal. Oh, Ooh. then I shall do precisely as you advise, The opposite. Before. I thank ye heartily, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, guys, I'm just going to stream for ten more minutes. Uh, I really appreciate it. This is a celebration stream for the announcement of my book, Embrace Your Weird, Face Your Fears, and Unleash Creativity. I kind of forgot the subheading for a second. <laughs> um, it's a book um, designed to uh, help you find your voice and get it out into the world and overcome all the things that keep you from doing that. And uh, it has exercises, funny essays, and all sorts of illustrations. It's on pre-order now, FeliciaDayBook.com. You can pre-order the Audible, which I will be reading, the audiobook. Um, Kindle, and any other, you know, indie bound, any kind of uh, local bookstore, you can also pre-order it at your local bookstore if you want to do that. She loved it because I told her straight out how to kill him, right? I have a feeling Lord Dyer is going to be eating a lot of honey and sweet stuff too. It's true. Okay, we probably have time for two more readings. Oh, this is the one. Okay, backstory. She has a husband who cannot give her a baby. And uh, we had an affair, but then she cut it off because I was being a creeper and spying on her, okay? Long story short, it was creepy. I hear a child was lately born to you. I on the same page, this is a really fun game. You can play it on o uh, iOS, too. Favored us with a healthy boy. Oh, she had a baby! True blessing to Mr. Allen and me. <coughs> okay, first of all, it's my baby, but it's okay. Pray remain so. That is, that this child remains in good health. Uh-oh. 
And as I do ail of something... What's, what's wrong with you? Normally I would not have come, but methinks tis best I am treated. What happened? The sake of Is the book okay for a 15-year-old? Yes, Jules, uh, Jules Lee. I did write it with uh, teenagers in mind, actually. See. Then pray describe your troubles to me, Ave. Mistress I wanted to make sure it was accessible well, and um, interesting enough, cop, and it has lots of illustrations and exercises, so yes, it's like, I think it's totally appropriate. Cold, but tis many weeks now, and it lingers It's TB. <coughs> Forsooth, I have oh no. This sucks, because she just had a baby. I put a baby in her. Hi, that is most concerning. She has the TB. The stars have to say. Hey, humble drum, we're what about to a, stop. I'm sorry. Alan, and how may she be cured? It's totally my baby. I got inside there, okay? I mean, we had a lot of intercourse. She, her husband does not make her happy. Justified. Okay. Um, lingering cough, mattering in the breast. This suggests a mild deficiency of blood in the body. Ruler of the lungs, okay. She's b been bewitched. Oh, boy. No, let's do the blood, right? Uh, witchery is always a bad way to go. Come on. But the problem is mild deficiency of blood. Is Am I going to send her to the leeches and like she's going to die faster? Uh, by, she's been bewitched by us. No, just do the breast matter. It's fine. It's a breast matter. Before I complete my judgment, madam, I must ask a question of uh, medical relevance. Oh boy! Who is the true father of your? God oh boy! Me, Simon. Gross! Is it a you redhead baby? Me with your suspicious fancies, even now, in my very hour of I know. Need. I was creepy. Have you no thought for my son and my. <coughs> <laughs> I am full sick of your jealous delusions. Oh, what a creep! I'm such a creep! Come. I will bid ye good oh, day, God, Simon. Oh, God, I'm such a creep! But would you not wish to know what uh, ails you? Uh, indeed, I would. Which is why I will be finding myself another doctor. Why would I have said bo- Did she fall apart? <laughs> oh, well, she already gave me. Oh, no, she's never gonna come back! We gotta. We can't end with that. That's that's too depressing. Oh, I have an achievement unlocked. I don't know what that achievement was. I really screwed it up. But we got our letter. We're done with her, and we gave her a baby. Look, she went out with all the things. Okay, this is the last one, guys. Then I have to go. Taste in your Ferraro. How may I do you service? Oh, this guy's the secret. Non-Italian woman, right? Service, huh? This is a question, is it not? Uh, I do hear you offer many different services, huh? Not just in medicine. Uh, with the pee pee? You are a dottore of a special kind. One who gives You're weird. That's what makes you attractive. Well, thanks, Saint Bill and the call me. Forsooth, tis true, Signor. In my practice, I the, the, the my name of my book is Embrace Your Weird, so it's not an insult. Soul, I tell that to Calliope. She's like weird. I'm like, thank you. Connected at a holistic level. I take it this time you are come about a problem that does not pertain to a bodily complaint. Uh oh. See, these are my mama. She huh? does a worry night and day. Oh, she uh, says, Ricardo, you must go to the wise man who reads the stars and have him tell you what your future is. post consultatio. I, I hope it happens here mama, for us. I really do. You happy, Love your hair. Thank you. Go to Senor Foreman and ask him. Okay. Hey, and is there any particular reason for your mother to be thus concerned? Be you faced with some kind of be imminent you? danger? A particular reason, you say? No, senor, she needs no reason to worry me. Me and ah, Marta, she, she makes a good know. Italian sausage. It's ah. not like these London mamas who make the children live in a cupboard with the dog. Do well, they do that? Mayhap the stars might offer your devoted mother some comfort. Okay. Uh, what does the future hold? Okay, so how's your relationship with your mama? Eh? She's dead. Ricardo Ferrara is not being honest and soon deception. Oh, this is good. Oh, uh, my relationship. Okay, so here's a situation. Here's a situation where do I tell them what I know or do I, or do I blow smoke up their buttholes? A young man who is in a relationship with a mama is a hypocrite would betray them. Oh, would inherit a lot of money. B is your mama. Okay, so your mama's in. Wow, this is hard. Always lie. There are no consequences. 
Okay, let's do the smoke up the boot, the beat. My chart shows that your mother has been frugal and careful with her personal fortune. Mm -hmm. As a result, you are due to receive a fine I don't think I should have gone with the other one, guys. Oh, lovely. Yeah. But beware. Uh-oh. I you are in danger of having your inheritance <gasps> stolen. Do, do, for your do. mother has begun a relationship with ah uh, yes, a hypocritical young man. Uh-oh, Aries in the house. Mother, but in truth, it is but her fortune <gasps> that inspires his ardor. <laughs> What a fruity tale you tell. What? Verily, you might sell these ridiculous stories of yours to William Shakespeare. Well, as a matter of fact, Mr. Shakespeare does oft come seeking by. <laughs> Look at you, sir. What? A charlatan. Are you kidding? Call himself a doctor. Uh, it is, uh, not it is you pretender. who are the pretender. For it is clear you are not the merchant of Venice you <gasps> pretend to be. Oh, store it down. Who are you? What is your true name, sir? Duh, sir! You don't know it in time, sirrah, for we oh, shall meet no. again. I bid you good day. Oh, Dr. I lost Corman. it! I lost it! Oh, I'm I'm whiffing it! Oh no! Oh no! Great! Oh no! Avis died! Oh, Simon, forgive me. Oh, my God. One shilling. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This is such a downer. FeliciaDayBook.com <laughs> Um. Oh, wipe away thy tears. And evil shed good years. The only way that this gets better is if you pre-order my book. Oh wow, vengeance! Vengeance! Oh boy. All right. But why did you not let me save you, Avis? Oh, boy. Why did you entrust your precious life to another doctor? Because I'm a charlatan who's a who stalker and really, really bad at what I do? Oh, boy. Oh, my beloved Avis. Oh, boy, this How is did awkward. You die before I had the chance to... Maybe <laughs> not be a creep? Oh, boy. Oh, no, we gotta do this. Who is to blame for the death? I caused this tragedy. Uh, yeah, I did. God is punishing me for not being a please. Yes! That's some self-realization there. Lies and rumors circulating about Avis provoked anxious passions. Okay. It's her kid. It's the kid's fault. No, I'm not going to blame it on the kid. Or new doctor. I think I should take the blame, y'all. Let's just go all sad sack. It was I. I am to blame for Avis' death. Oh, God. Is if this the end of the game? I not driven away with my ill-tempered, unkind accusation. I mean, it's true, right? Would that I had turned my thoughts to her illness and away from my own selfishness. I mean, it's true, right? How will she ever... I mean, she's dead. It's fine. She can't do I anything. How will I ever forgive myself? I mean... Oh, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm like one away. Oh, no! I will. I am not recommending myself. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the last one I can do, guys. I gotta go. Uh, I have to quit the game. We will cut. We will pick back up. All right. We will pick back up. It's a really good game. Um, I want to thank everybody, especially my mods and my Discord. Gg slash Felicia Day community. You guys have been amazing advocates to getting my book out uh, out there into the world today, and I really appreciate it. Um, this is a labor of love for me, so I really, um, I am so grateful for you guys and supporting what I do. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely a square, a square peg in a round hole in the Hollywood world, but when I'm with you guys, I feel very, like, there's a square peg for me to fit in. It's creepy. Anyway, if you are so inclined, pre-order my book at FeliciaDayBook.com. Um, it really helps me, and I, I know that you guys, I'm going to talk about it too much between now and October 1st when it's out. But I'm, I'm very excited about it. I'm going to try to stream. Um, I cannot stream Saturday night. I'm going to try to stream perhaps Sunday night um, if it works out. But no Saturday night stream because I'm going to a play. And that's it. All right. 
Uh, I will see you guys on the Discord, discord.gg slash Felicia Day, and um, everywhere else that you find me online. All right. Thanks a lot, mods and community. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Bye.